Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. This is the last video in our series of three on the goats from the ranch that I went to that was out in Texas. Today is going to be kind of a little look at the babies coming along and out there playing and running. It's just amazing at how quickly they grow and how easily they can get around. This is the very first goat that I had deliver on the ranch while my friends were on vacation and I was doing this ranch setting. And it was uh, quite a learning curve for sure. And this mama here had some worms and she ended up losing her babies so she was trying to steal one of this mama's babies. And there they are. They are so cute. Now here, uh, again, first time. So I was trying to film and then be able to get in there to um, make sure the claustrum came down out of the teat. And I was looking through the lens of the camera, couldn't really see what I was doing. <laughs> here I'm just goofing around. I ended up sitting back looking at it and saying, okay, let's just turn the camera off <laughs> and do this. Get used to doing it the right way before I go and try to film it. And this is just another mom that decided the same day to have her babies. She had triplets. She had this uh, champagne colored one and actually her name is Champagne. And the other one is, uh, they're both, the other two are actually red and the one we call red, this one here we call Champagne. And we found a surrogate mom from the neighbor's goat that was uh, eventually willing to allow them to drink off of her. We had to actually hold her still for the, them to drink in the beginning. Now the reason that we ended up pulling these two off, Champagne and Red, that mama only had one teat that would actually work. She looked huge, she looked like she had plenty of milk, but only one teat was actually working. So this here is Hoppy. Hoppy had a dog get a hold of her back leg and cause her tendons apparently to pull up but she is just a great milk goat and she is a great surrogate mom and she let these two babies um, within two weeks she was allowing these two babies even though she didn't clean them and birth them and all that to come up and drink off of her so initially what we would do is we'd kind of chain Hoppy to the fence and kind of hold her to the side and then the babies should just come up there and eat this here is Blackie Girl. Blackie has an issue with her one teat being way, way engorged. And uh, so this is the neighbor that came over and was helping me. It's also Hoppy as her goat. And here she's just kind of milking off the teat. And then she's allowing Blackie's babies to drink the rest of the milk down. Now we also, where we would milk Blackie, and then we would put the milk in a bottle and you'll see me bottle feeding these guys a little bit later on in the video oh my goodness they are so cute just absolutely so cute this mom decided at uh, I think it was about 4.30 quarter to 5 to have her babies. So of course Stella and I go out. Stella's little Miss Worry Stella. Work. Stella, it's okay. Relax. Mama's doing it. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. Yeah, this mom, she did great. She had both of them. Unfortunately, she had them in the dirt. I'm just out here with the flashlight. But she was able to get them all cleaned up and they were able to stand and go up and drink. Now the, the red boats seem to be a little bit more aggressive than the white ones. This, I'm just showing you this, what a great idea. These are those dog house, plastic dog houses. And the baby goats love going in there and a little bit of pine bark and stay all snug. And then this is the red goat at sunrise. 
you, like I said, you have to be kind of careful when you're going up next to them. This mom here, she was out here kind of working her way into labor, so I moved her into a holding pen, went inside for a couple hours and came back out and she had triplets. All three of them were fairly small and she was actually able to nurse all three of them so I didn't have to bottle feed these guys. And these are those very first two goats that you saw when the video first started. And this is like three, four days later. Alright, these are Blackie's two kids. The mama that were uh, milking her boobs because her, her one teeth and her boob is just hanging, her bag is just hanging so low. She is so funny. Oh my goodness. What a hoot. Now the thing that I noticed when they're drinking really well, their little tails will just go 100 miles an hour or when they're happy with you, like when you're playing with them and stuff. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I know. I kind of stalled on these guys when I was editing the video. You get that special bond when you bottle feed them. You know, they get attached to you and you end up getting attached to them. These goats are so social, so socialized. You call them and let them know you have food, and they just come running. Actually, wasn't her sister, it was her brother. <laughs> I ended up looking later on. She's a girl, and then her sibling is a little boy. He's fixing to jump off of there right now. It's pretty amazing with these little feed pans laying out there. They'll actually get in those and curl up and go to sleep as well. This is where the ghost got in the ring and ate the hay out. That Hoppy did great when you just held her. She got used to these guys and after the two weeks that I was sitting there, they were eating off her with no issue. This is Miss Oreo and these are Oreo's two babies. Oreo is sisters with Blackie. These are the little triplets. And after about a 
24 hour period you can actually turn the mom and the babies out in the pasture the mom will keep them close by you give them that 24 hour period just to bond And there's Blackie. And you can see how engorged that that uh, right side her udder is. It just drags the ground almost by the end of the day. And it doesn't matter how much you try to milk it out. It just it goes right back to that deformed size where the babies can't even eat off of it. What are you kids doing? What are you kids doing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey. What's up? What's up? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? You with my kids? You my kids? Are you my kids? <laughs> you good girls? Good girls, good boys. Dimbo, what's up, baby? Hello, hello, my good girl. This was the last goat that I was able to see born prior to heading out of Texas. And this goat was one big baby. Um, the owners were back that owned the ranch and they came out and they ended up having to pull this baby goat out. Oh, what's up, baby? Hello. And then this Hello. is just me stripping the colostrum and putting her on the tape. Alrighty then. Thanks for stopping by. You all have a blessed day.